with the recently announced update coming to the CCIE security lab, I wanted to update my CCIE security tracker to make way for the new edition, which is the CCIE security version 6.1. And in this new version, I've added a few more items here just to describe and uh, let you know what each of the different tabs are for on the in the introduction and if we go across to now the CCIE security version 6.1 lab tracker for those that have got my 6.0 tracker currently this is slightly changed now and I've tried to make it a little bit more streamlined and better for viewing instead of having lots of different colors on the screen to look at. So what we'll see now is I've broke down the uh, the ID still. So each of the blueprint uh, topics correspond correspond still as they do on the actual blueprint i've got each of the uh, weightings here for the domains along with the um, actual domain and subdomain as well broken down into each of the tasks now something different that i've done i've, I've kept the time spent in so that you can actually track or um, a lot the time to um, the amount of time you spent on each of the tasks and this is just really to give you a good indication of how much time you've been spending on each of the different blueprint topics uh, nothing's changed there but what i have done is i've added or changed the uh, confidence level if you like and what this is is a an area for you to be able to subjectively mark how confident you are with each of these tasks so i've left a few in here as an example uh, but you can see there if i uh, enter something say like 20 we can see that it's going to give me an x there um, which you know basically highlights that i'm not really confident with multi-instance uh, in this case, I need to continue learning. If I move it up to 50 or let's say 55, I'm getting there, you know, I'm moving up, but I'm still not green. We want to be seeing those tick marks next to each of these. And again, this is subjective, but you know, I leave it to you to gauge really where you are in terms of how confident you're feeling on each of the tasks in the blueprint. So ideally what we want to do is we want to get over 70% and um, you know, over 70% we're saying that we are confident that when it comes to the lab exam, we can configure this if this comes up in the lab exam. You know, ideally we want to get to 100. So we want to make sure that each of these are 100 once we've cleared them and uh, it's it's realistic that we're not really going to reach 100 on all of these unless you spend a lot of time um, configuring these things over and over again but you know anything over 70 is what we're really looking for another new thing that i've done is i've moved the comments to the end so you can add comments to each section let's say for instance you've configured ftd in rooted mode but something went wrong or you wanted to just really highlight something for the next time that you do that then this is the area where you can make comments um in in uh, against each of the tasks the new thing that i'm referring to is a training material so what i've done is i have actually redesign the way that we do this and if i've you can see it says link so if i press link now on this it's going to take me across to the cci security version 6.1 learning matrix and what i've done here is i've done the, the same in terms of mapping the id and the domain and the subdomains along with the tasks um, but this time what i've actually done is i've added a section for my content so the network WizKid content so that you can see labs in the areas where i've uh, got labs available uh, so you can see if you scroll all the way down there's labs for different ones here so that's kind of covering all my content there and what i will do when you actually purchase this is as i do labs on each of these when i release new versions that new version will be available to you if you've already downloaded uh, this new tracker as well uh, what i've also done is i have added the uh, book section and white papers 
uh, I've added links to each of those. So what I've done is I've updated links uh, where I feel like are uh, relevant links to uh, books mainly uh, on each of these topics. Um, you'll notice that some of them are repeating and the reason that some of them are repeating is purely because you know some of these tasks are uh, or many of these tasks are covered in these books as well so don't look at it as when you get to the book section don't look at it as sort of you know task for rooted this book's going to con uh, contain this and then task for transparent is going to uh, be contained in this book here because it's more than likely there's going to be overlapping content so mainly just for the network with kid part I have tried to and will try to create content around each of the tasks. So other than my section, uh, which will try to kind of map the tasks to the labs that I create, the remaining sections of so the books and the Cisco practice labs, live content and other resources, these are really, uh, think of these as sort of overlapping content that will help you uh, in each of these uh, areas as well. So moving on to the practice labs, we know that we've got the CCIE security practice labs now, and I've just basically contained a link to that uh, for each of the uh, sections because you can theoretically configure most, if not all of this, uh, all of the tasks in uh, the labs there. And I'm sure as Cisco release new practice labs, there'll be uh, more ways to uh, configure the tasks that are in the blueprint. I've also been through Cisco Live's uh, content and I've added uh, content for each of the tasks. So you'll see there you've got different bits of content content that you can refer to. So when we say Cisco FTD, it's going to bring up a bunch of uh, FTD related uh, content. So it's similar to, I think, what the new blueprint uh, looks like that Cisco released, but I have been through these and I have actually added what I feel is relevant for each section as opposed to just um, using the links that they have already provided as well. So hopefully you find that useful. And then same uh, with the other resources. So what I've done is I've actually included links that I feel like are relevant for each, if not all of the sections. You can see some are missing there. Maybe over time I, sh I can populate that. Um, but just for now, um, this is sort of what I feel is relevant for each of these sections. So if you spot something that you feel is missing do let me know as i say this is a, a live document and i will look to get this updated as as time goes on not much has changed on the ccie security version 6.1 equipment list this is just the list that's uh, on the cisco learning network and what i've done is i've populated that into here as well just so that you can you've got all the content in one place and the purpose of this is really to um mark down the appliances and software that you have in your lab environment just to uh, help you better understand you know what what it is that you're missing or what you need in order to uh, configure some of these uh, some of the tasks in your lab you don't have to try and make sure that you get all of them because in reality it's maybe not going to be possible for a lot of people but you know the list is there anyway and it's there to be used if you want to use it and to keep a checklist lab topology i've basically just included a nice little blank space where you can put in your own lab topology once you've built your lab so in my particular version of this document i have my own lab topology that i've designed and put together and it's just easy for me to be able to uh, flick between these different tabs especially when i'm referring to uh, different topics just to uh, take a look at my lab topology and see how maybe i can configure a specific element in that topology uh, alongside the tasks in the uh, blueprint so when you have built your lab take a screenshot of the topology and put it in there and it'll just make it a lot easier if you need to refer to it as well lastly i have a lab attempts note so i've done two attempts now the cci security and i found adding this section to be quite useful because when you go back to a drawing board and you need to reset 
uh, and get ready to go again. It's really helpful if you have some notes from what you remember from the previous exam personally for you. And I found by adding this section here, when I attempted the lab uh, twice, it really helped me sort of come back to the drawing board, write down some of the things that I struggled with and develop actions against those so that I could kind of re-tackle re those in my lab environment before going for the lab again. So this really helped me sort of get all those ideas out of my head after each lab attempt. And it's really good to get those down before you do forget them, especially if you do more than one attempt as well. So this is my new CCIE security version 6.1 lab tracker complete. It will be available on my website, networkwizkid.com. So do take a look out for that. This time around, I am going to be asking for a little something towards that uh, because I put uh, a bit of time and effort into putting this together and will be also maintaining it as well. So uh, again, I do appreciate that and I hope you appreciate the work that I've uh, put into this and I hope you find it useful more so than anything. But if you've got any questions or comments, please do let me know. But that's the new lab tracker that I've put together ready for version 6.1.